At my practice, we take a patient-centered team-based approach. So we have a physician, we have a nurse practitioner, we have a nutritionist, we have a therapist on staff, because every person is a whole and has different facets of their health that they need worked on. When I came out of residency, I was a traditional family practice doctor, giving pills for every ill, so to speak, and just kind of covering up disease. Most family doctors are out there because we want to help people and get people healthier, but ultimately if we don't have the right tools to help them, we just end up continuing the same issues. Prescribing medications, never getting to the root causes. So instead, in functional medicine, as I learned over time of being in private practice, I learned that there was this other way of uh, fixing problems, changing people's nutrition, changing their lifestyles, reducing their stress, and ultimately I noticed that disease was reversible. I even applied some of those same principles to myself and reversed some of my own issues. And and as I started doing that, I realized that this was not feasible in a traditional medical sense of taking insurance. So ultimately, I left that practice and started my own practice seeing patients in a longer time frame. So my typical office visit is 60 to 90 minutes long, where I really sit down, get to know the patient, get to understand their whole story. Uh, that includes their children, their, their mother, their stressors in their lives, and what all I can do to help reduce their stress, change their lifestyle. What are some of the things preventing them from changing their life? What, what's standing in the way from them improving their diet? And once we get down to those root causes and we can change those things, we can reverse disease. Once we start reversing disease, all of a sudden healthcare gets much cheaper, gets more affordable. People get healthier and happier and then they start referring their friends because they're having tremendous success so they send others our way and ultimately I believe this is the way we're going to save healthcare. Right now healthcare is slated to bankrupt our whole country. If we don't get to the root cause of problems and start reversing disease instead of just giving people medications then we're going to bankrupt the country. In my functional medicine practice, I spend 60 to 90 minutes with my patients each time. In the traditional medical practice, you get 10 to 15 minutes because insurance companies don't pay based on time, they pay based on volume and how many patients you can see. So it's impossible to get someone to change their lifestyle, change their diet, change their stressors in 10 to 15 minutes. You can't do anything in 10 to 15 minutes. My goal as a functional medicine doctor is to continue educating my patients on how to make better choices, how to reverse their disease. And by teaching them, they can teach others. Everyone has five, 10 friends in their network. And so if you can change one life, you actually change five to 10 people in their lives. And that way we can change the whole world by changing one life. So if you can teach people why they have the issues they have and what they need to do to reverse it, you'd be surprised at the, the feed forward effect that has on the whole underlying network. It's also my passion to put a lot of this education out on the internet, which is free and replicable. Anybody can get on YouTube and look at the videos, share them with their friends, and we can actually spread knowledge and functional medicine for free over social media. We've had patients from Australia, from Italy, from all over the place send us messages saying they've changed their lives, they've reversed their disease, they've lost weight just by watching some of the videos that we've done. This, these are patients that I've never even touched. I, can't, I, I can only touch so many people in a day, but by putting this knowledge, this education out there, we can touch lives all over the world. One of my other passions in functional medicine is making it affordable for as many people as possible. Right now, because insurance doesn't really cover functional medicine, it's difficult for everyone to afford it. But by having multiple staff members and a team-based approach, we can actually keep functional medicine affordable for as many people as possible in order to save our country from going bankrupt. Functional medicine is the future of medicine. It is the operating system that we all need to switch to and it needs to be affordable for all.